some company and blah blah studios presents a production in association with my last a f that gave its life somewhere in the minute it took to start this damn movie. One of the reasons I'm not allowed to watch a kid's movie in the theater is because I want to yell out, where's this how does he pee? Man, these CGI birds sure take me out of the realism of a movie about a yellow squirrel that talks like Ryan Reynolds, who used to be a police detective that only one person in the whole world understands, and he and that guy team up to investigate the disappearance of his partner. Little known fact, Rob Letterman despises retinal tissue, and this movie is an instrument created to give us all scotoma. Water type is not right for you, neither is fire type, but Cubone is lonely. Exactly! Wait, Cubone's type is lonely? So as far as types go, we have fire, water, and lonely? But right now, the truth is in my hands. What an odd name for a spherical sex toy. That's what that is, right? Not everyone can pull off wearing the skull of their dead relative, but you sure can. Okay, he didn't like that. If capturing a Pokemon requires two things, capturing it in a ball and earning its acceptance, then shouldn't the acceptance part be immediately apparent? Do you often bond with a Pokemon who clearly hates you and it changes its feelings once it's captured? Even if that's something that happens, that's f***ed up in a sit. Your life's not green. It still hasn't turned green yet, Jack. That's bad, right? Yeah, from your reaction, that sounds bad to me and I don't know f about Pokemon, but you do. So I don't know why you're pretending like you don't know what happens when the light isn't green. It didn't turn us red! It didn't turn us red, Jack! I'm not his choice! What's that? I didn't hear you the first two times a mere two seconds ago! Man, Tim's business clothes look immaculate after getting hit by the explosive bone that Cubone threw at him. I'm assuming that once Tim got the call about his dad, he hopped on the first train to Rhyme City he could find. So I'm wondering how this newspaper with a story about his dad has already been written, which presumably would have been published this morning before Tim even found out about it. And yes, he's missed five calls about his dad's death, but that was because he was out Pokemon hunting, which was clearly after a day of work since he was wearing those business clothes. I'm not saying the movie definitely did anything wrong, but I think the worst in movies, so... You have a very generous tone. And a very solid case for sexual harassment. Does this Lickitung belong to anyone? Lickitung? Come on, man, most of these things have some pretty creative names. We're calling this thing by the exact thing it does? Basically in English? One man changed all of this. Howard Clifford. Convenient train video that will obviously pertain to the protagonist and his quest plays conveniently. This video about Rhyme City could have been about anything. Hot dining spots, things to do, but no, it talks about the primary antagonist and what he's all about because reasons. And it turned out that the cure I was looking for was for me to evolve into a better version of myself. Man, you couldn't put a sign on this guy that says I'm the villain and make it more obvious. Fighting fires wouldn't be the same without their Squirtle partners. Why do these firemen even need Squirtles on this job? It's a small fire in the middle of a street. This looks like an unnecessary use of Squirtle power, but they are the world's most fearsome firefighting team. It's awesome that Tim's train ride into the city stopped far enough away from the RCPD, requiring him to walk through Rhyme City so that this movie could do some world building. Disco. Every species of Pokemon looks identical amongst their own kind, so how would a missing sign help anyone find their missing partner? And even if this worked once, how would a trainer be able to tell it was their partner when all the Pokemon can do is say their own name over and over? What's the source of this blinding light, and why haven't the tenants of this apartment building petitioned to install blackout curtains? What a horrible place to live! This is a jewel-toned prismatic nightmare. Oh look, it's my favorite gangster movie ever! Home Alone. Still with the old detective movies. Either Tim's dad put this movie on and it's miraculously still playing long after he left his apartment, or Tim is wrongfully bemoaning his dad's love of detective movies when it just happens to be playing on cable. Either way, it's probably a sin that the TV is even playing right now. And sure, we're going to find out Pikachu is here in a minute, and maybe he turned the TV on, but he will not seem at all concerned when said TV suddenly turns off and a human starts talking to himself out loud. There is one brand that unites our world with the entirely fantastical Pokemon world, Logitech, a company who calls their remotes a pointing device. I probably can't prove it with the visual provided here, but trust me, I endured a great amount of eye strain to verify that this article repeats itself at least twice. My optometrist says I should stop doing cinema sins. I asked her if I had seen her in our comment section. It looks like Tim went to the lesser known but equally prestigious Prometheus School of Touching Things, or perhaps went to the 2015 Fantastic Four Touching Things Music and Arts Festival. How do none of these APOMs catch Tim? My guess is if they're able to climb the buildings and sh they're pretty spry, but I think Tim actually ends up outrunning these little guys. Blazing speed! Blazing speed! Despite the APOM's upgrade, it's still not enough to catch up to Tim. Pat me or they kiss me, they stick a finger in me. And thoughts and prayers to all the children asking about sticking their fingers in Pikachu on the drive home from the theater. Pikachu is surprisingly clean compared to Tim, which is strange considering he went down the trash chute first and should have acted like a furry tube duster. All I want to know is why I can't understand you. Oh. Can't help you there, kid. Like I said, 
I have amnesia. Can't remember a darn thing. Ah, yes. Plot's perfect scapegoat named Amnesia. I'm going to take a guess that this movie is full of convenient forgetsies and perfectly timed remembersies. Let's add 20 cents so that I can stop caring about the bullshittiness of it for all the rest of the movie. Sins worth? 20 cents. Also, yes, this communication thing is still a question the movie needs to answer, but I thought Tim believed it was because he breathed in that gas earlier. It's me. It's, it's that stuff that I put up my nose. Because he said so. I saw in the police report oh, that he's dead. It's because the cops say he's It means he's that he's dead. legally dead. Really? Did they find a body? How would Tim know one way or another if they found a body? If the police report said he died, wouldn't you assume they found one? Or does the police report just say, dead, didn't find body, even if it's only been like, what, two days? I don't know what studio this is supposed to be, but every studio I have been to has some form of security that would not allow anyone into this taping without an appointment, a name tag, and several swabs of DNA. It's not news if it can't be verified. Breaking news! We have verified that anyone who wears sunglasses indoors is an asshole. Word on the street was that Harry had an informant near the docks. Just how long has Lucy been on this story? And what was the inciting incident that made her want to cover it? If it was Tim's dad's death, then she's been on the story for about two or three days, which doesn't seem to be enough time to do all the sh she's been doing. But if she was on it before he died, what led her to believe there was anything to pursue in the first place. I went there to snoop around, and that's where I found the vial. The vial? There are clearly multiple vials in the bag, so why only speak about one? What are you hiding? I'm good cop, you're bad cop. You're bigger and tougher looking than I am. Pikachu is saying this with Mr. Mime inches away, so wouldn't that dissolve any advantage they had with the ruse? He's saying you can shove it. Unless Mr. Mime was saying to shove a can up your ass? Okay. The snarky charades makes no sense. Oh yeah, 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 yeah! Mr. Mime has the ability to make invisible walls. Ah. So why wouldn't he have used that power to prevent you from bringing him into the building for interrogation. Man, I know these Pokemon are supposed to be fantastical creatures and they could look like anything they want, but this obvious CGI sh is making it very hard to buy in. Does this chick touch any of the letters that go into this text? I'm sure there are a few, but I assure you that any of the correct letters are entirely on accident. I don't operate according to plans, kid. I deal with things in the moment. Yeah, but you do have some inclination that you forgot how to use your powers, right? This is going to be some convenient bull later when he suddenly realizes he doesn't know how to do his special attacks. Are all the vials of R different strengths? Because the last time we saw one open, it billed around the room, out a window, and around the corner to infect dozens of A-pomps. This gaseous drug should be infecting every Pokemon in the immediate area, and I don't know why it doesn't. Go for a critical hit! Use Volt Tackle! Yeah, do the Volt Tackle! Gotta tell you guys, I feel like I'm watching The Wizard all over again. You remember that 100-minute Nintendo ad from 1989 where there was a video game competition featuring Super Mario 3 two months before the game even came out in North America, and Rilo Kylie was like, that's the magic flute! Use it! Use it! It opens a warp! Yeah, I feel as lost as I did back then. Mm, it's not working. I forgot how to use my powers. And trying to in front of an audience is going to help you? Pikachu is absolutely exposed to the Argas in this scene, but never goes bonkers. And if there's one thing I was hoping to see in this movie, it is Pikachu losing his adorable if I can see the Loud Red's butthole in this shot, does that technically make this a Pornkemon? Pornkemon, detect I've peeked to shoot? The guy you were looking for <laughs> wanted to know the store so far. Wait, why is this guy telling Tim anything? The deal was to get a rematch between his Pokemon and Pikachu, and Tim clearly f***ed everything up by running into the arena. So what has he done to deserve information? And why would this guy be scared of Tim, who is a weakling? What? That's not gonna work! Magikarp is the worst! Magikarp can evolve into Gyarados! So, you know the powers of Magikarp, but you don't know how to use your own powers? Gotta tell you. Your memory is a thing of convenience and inconvenience for whatever the story needs. Water in the hole! My cousin William is a Pokenut, and he tells me that this magic carp better be level 20 because there's no way it could poof into a Gyarados. I'm sending William for knowing that. I never wanted to show you this, but I think it's important you see it. Only the assiest of holes has preemptively queued up footage to show a kid the exact moment a car crash killed his dad. No one could survive a crash like that. I agree, but it would be easy to find bodies, right? And if there wasn't one there, wouldn't you have some hope they survived? Also, wasn't the presumption that Pikachu was dead because of the same crash? Well, that's a bad guy car. And yet you get into the car without a protest of any sort. Look out, kid! Advanced holographic imaging. Yeah, I could have told you about it first, but why do that when I can scare the shit out of you? Also, what is it with people wanting to show Tim his father's crash in increasingly terrible ways? He needs my help. Dude, did you not hear that this was a hologram? Did Davy Jones not show you in the scariest way imaginable that this wasn't real? What is that? Mewtwo. Yeah, uh huh You are, but I'm not. Wait, 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 wait! Man, what is it with movies introducing a concept that is easily understood and yet the main character keeps acting like they don't know the concept? Everybody, including three-year-olds, knows this is a hologram. Why is this hatch even f***ing here? There's no ladder leading up to it, so what's the use of such a hatch? <laughs> Greninja, they don't look right. Detective Pikachu asks the question, what would a Resident Evil movie look like if we just put Pokemon characters into it? Also, I'm sending my other cousin James for showing me this f***ing Pokecard and explaining that this creature uses its tongue for a scarf. Kid, hey, 
Over here. Yeah, come check out this somehow still powered computer that will show us every missing detail of the plot line. They used Mewtwo to make art, and they were testing it at the battles. But later we're going to find out that the reason why the gas was even being made was so that Howard controlling Mewtwo could fuse humans and Pokemon together, as long as the Pokemon were infected with the gas. What did using it at the battles tell them that they didn't already know? The battles portion of this movie sounds like something the screenwriters put in so that the heroes could pursue a lead, and because the world of Pokemon is about battles, and this movie lacks that angle without it. What did that thing want with Harry? Good question, kid. I'll try and take us back to the beginning. Jesus, when did Pikachu you become an expert at navigating this lamb's computer system. Is he secretly Lex from Jurassic Park? Good luck, Detective Goodman. Good to see this out of this world interactive hologram thing is following the movie's protocol of not showing the father's face. I guess they didn't have Ryan Reynolds around long enough to get him to make an appearance in anything except the ending. Kind of like that you need to calm down video. <coughs> Why wait until Tim looks up to start the muffled warnings, Lucy? You saw them walk in 15 seconds ago, and I'm sure they would have appreciated more time to react and less slobber on clothing. <coughs> Don't know why they didn't just kill Lucy, or why this PED-flavored Pokemon waits so long to try and capture Tim. Holy sh! did Lucy just pull this thing that was bolted to the floor straight out like she's the Scarlett Johansson Lucy? Sonic, no! It's okay, Sonic! Sonic everything's no! fine! Sonic! He's gonna blow his stack, kid! Why hasn't he already? The very first time those Pokemon got released from their cells back at the lab and all the other stuff after that should have made this nervous psychokinetic bomb explode already. Run! How is Pikachu able to keep up during this running sequence? Earlier he said, Every step for you is a thousand for me and my lungs are the size of grapes. And while clearly some of that is exaggeration, his point was that in order to keep up, Pikachu needs to be held. Yet in these chase sequences, he's running just as fast as the humans and sometimes faster. I've rewatched this scene and drawn a small diagram to better understand how these trees would be folding in on themselves due to the Torterra. As you can see, the second Torterra would have to be floating out in the air for this to work. And since nobody mentioned seeing such a thing, this is just an impossible scene that doesn't need to be here. Look at this shit they have to run across quickly with no plan. These assholes should be dead. Where the do they get off? <laughs> Perhaps a more realistic reaction would be sputtering for a breath of air after your chest takes a direct impact with rock. Also, and I mean this with all my heart, they survived this. I'd remove a billion sins if these Care Bear Onion Lizards didn't help Tim at all and just ate everybody. Where's my father? What'd you do with him? Luckily, since that convenient hologram technology isn't available, Mewtwo just happens to have the power to show people professionally shot and edited memories. Humanity's evil. I've always believed Pokemon are and just as we were about to hear Magneto's speech. I gotta say though, this is the weirdest X-Men movie I've ever watched. I know we're going to eventually find out what the hell happened, but Jesus, there are so many potential bad and good guys with so many potential motivations. It'd be nice to know if I should give a shit about Mewtwo being caught and put back into his containment sphere. Roger must have sent the Greninjas to cause the crash, which, which means Mewtwo was trying to protect us? What a terrible detective Pikachu has revealed himself to be. That is a major leap to make, considering the multitude of other possibilities, including Mewtwo working with the Greninjas. You and Harry's Pikachu you let me straight to Mewtwo. Of course, you nearly died several times, and it took Pikachu getting life-threatening injuries and some miraculous helper Pokemon to take you straight to the place where Mewtwo was, and that was the plan all along. Yeah, that sounds about right. Also, welcome to the monologuing portion of the film. The Pokemon monologuing, am I right? Mewtwo has the power to transfer the soul of a human into the body of a Pokemon as long as the Pokemon are in a crazed state. Sounds arbitrary! Don't let your Pokemon breathe the purple gas! Yeah, all you brought your Pokemon gas masks, right? Never leave home without them. I mean, this is an example of something helpful also being something impossible. The gas is everywhere. Are you expecting them to not breathe at all? Come on. No, that's not fair. Why is that not fair? Don't you know that's just a copy of Lucy? Isn't this technically better than the thing Ditto turned into earlier? A heroic hang! Oh, those are the best. Set the timer. Let's see how long this kid can maintain his finger grip strength. Ooh, down to one hand. <laughs> One minute, ten seconds isn't bad, considering he was gripping shards of glass! Ditto seems unclear on the concept that he doesn't need to change into anything to make Tim fall off the building. And can't this mother just turn into Mewtwo and make things easier? Literally, any of these monsters should have been enough to kill Tim, but Ditto never attacks in a way that makes any sense. So we just end up running through monsters like we're sifting through some kid's Poke card collection. The Argas melts Ditto like the Wicked Witch of the Poke West, and we're just gonna act like that's expected? No! No, no. Pikachu! Tim was at the top of the tower just a few seconds ago. Someone should call the elevator inspector, because it can't be up to code if it drops that fast. I will undo what has been done. 
Wow! Just like that, huh? I'm honestly surprised that you ever got captured. I don't really even care what Howard invented to capture you. After seeing this, my guess is that it shouldn't have worked. Do you suppose, after the life-altering moment of being sucked into and pulled out of a Pokemon, that this man is finally asking himself the real important question of how the Charmander tail stays lit? Let's never do that again. Okay, I'll make sure that a wealthy megalomaniac doesn't capture Mewtwo and create a purple gas that makes other Pokemon insane so that Mewtwo can fuse humans and Pokemon together. Good advice! Humanity is evil, but you have shown me that not all humans are bad. So wait, you've never seen a human do anything selfless until Harry Goodman broke you out of the lab? Harry Goodman, your Pikachu offers its body to save your mind. So Harry's body was injured so badly that his mind could only live on if it was paired with his Pikachu. Is this supposed to explain why only Tim has been able to communicate with him? Because it doesn't. This means Pikachu speaks English, just like Mewtwo spoke English to the parade crowd. Meaning everyone should understand Pikachu, not just Tim. With the son's return, I can repair the father. Because something something DNA, I guess? Mewtwo has some random ass powers. Also, we've seen Mewtwo heal Pikachu without needing another spell component, so why does Mewtwo need the sun to heal Harry's body? And another thing! If there are two beings in one body, how is it determined who drives it? Is it like Harry takes the gas pedal and Pikachu takes the brakes, and they sort of trust that their hearts know the way? I take this body so that you might live. Think of all the bull Tim's dad has had to overcome to become human again. Like, yeah, he earns that but he has to wander the earth with amnesia, somehow run into his kid, try to solve a mystery, and let's not forget the insane they had to go through just to meet Mewtwo in the first place. Pikachu doesn't get hurt, they never find him. They go back to Rhyme City with more questions than answers. Couldn't Mewtwo have just left a note? Can't believe I'm gonna say this, but I'm excited to see Ryan Reynolds crawl out of this Pikachu. What the f***? The entire movie leads to this moment, and rather than show us the father escaping from his furry yellow prison, we shift to more blinding white light. Ugh. No, kid, we can return that for our money back. Just because we saved the world doesn't mean we're rich. Sheesh. I'll never let go. I'll hold on to your balls forever. Have you ever watched a music video and wondered, how'd this person get here? Like, the true story? Well, if you're looking for answers, you've come to the right place. Check out Music From Behind, the new series from Music Video Sins that dives deep into the cavernous secrets of your favorite celebrities. Why did Justin Bieber decide to grow that mustache? And does it have anything to do with Russian election interference? Why are Offset and Cardi B so magnetically attracted to each other? And how does that impact the weather in Topeka, Kansas? What does BTS really stand for? Is Kelly Clarkson an adorable robot made specifically specifically for broadcast television? Will Billie Eilish ever speak above a whisper? And if not, why? Find out all this and more on the brand new series, Music From Behind. Okay, here I am. Sorry I'm late. What do you need? Um, I think we're actually done. Holy f seriously? Okay, awesome. I'm gonna go cyberstalk my college girlfriend for a while. Uh, after I watch this new show, of course. Cool, that'll give me time to call the authorities. Wait, what were we talking about? Music From Behind! Watch it! It says, Choo choo choose me! <laughs> and there's a picture of a train. This isn't an office, it's a it's a coffin with pencils. No, I can't breathe. Please get me out of here. Get out? Yeah, yeah, get me out. Get me out. Please help. So if you believe in Father Christmas children, like your Uncle Billy does, buy my festering turd of a record. And now folks! It's time for who do you trust? Hubba hubba hubba, money, 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 who do you trust?